this is a quick unboxing and review of the homecoming spider-man homemade suit by hot toys so let's take a quick look around the box and then let's see what's inside after Moving on to the accessories, first off we get the stand and the base, it has the Spider-Man Homecoming logo on it, some webbings, extra wrist pegs, two pairs of extra goggles with different expressions, a mask, three pairs of hands, and Tom Holland's head sculpt. Here is the highly detailed Tom Holland Battle Damage Head Sculpt. Moving on to the articulation, it can look up. can look down it has side to side movement can look left and right for shoulders it can move up by that much and as per the instructions it can move sidewards by 90 degrees it also has in and out movement bicep cut double jointed elbows it has wrist rotation which can also move side to side or up and down
the torso can bend forward and back. Can also move side to side. Can also twist it left and right along with the waist. The legs can kick forward that much and not much moving backwards. Can do the splits well. It has double jointed knees. The ankles can move left and right, can move down and up. And it has rockers that can move side to side well. For size comparison, here he is next to Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire Hot Toy Spider-Man. Overall, I'm giving this figure a solid 8.5 out of 10. It is always great to have an unmasked head sculpt included, especially this one. The likeness of Tom Holland is highly accurate. The accessories are great. Even the print on the base is awesome. Though, as good as the figure is, I must say that this one might not be for everyone. A lot of collectors would still prefer to get the regular costumed MCU Spidey over this. But if you love Spider-Man, this one is a must-have and in my book, this homemade costume is highly essential as it played a critical role in the movie. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.